Hello. I have a new item that I listed in my shop and I kind of wanted to just show um, because I love the detail of this die. Um, look at that. What it is, uh, let me show you the die. It's by Spellbinders and it's S5399. Um, usually I have samples on the front already cut out so I know what it looks like, you know, like so, but there's quite a few, so I might not do that. I might just do one, like the big one. It comes with seven dies and it's called Candle Wick Rectangles and I've had this die for quite a while. Um... And I just recently this week used it, and I love it. Um, what you do, this is the size that I used, and this is the size that's um, in my shop. You can just use this and cut something out, but it won't cut the frame out. Um, let me grab a scrap here. I got a scrap of... Christmas paper here. Like if I cut this out, you know, lined it up in the center, it would just do this design and that's it. This is what cuts it out. Because um, I could use like a smaller, you can even cut the center out. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this die. Um, but for the listing, you get this size here you get four of the detailed rectangles uh, this is the green it's um, out of the earth recollections uh, earth and I love this green color um, you get four of these and you get four of the frames and how I did that is I just cut out a, a square a rectangle that was bigger than this a little bit bigger than that and that's how I got that so let's see what how did I cut that out let me just cut one out here just to show you let me grab a piece of paper Alright, um, I've got some extra that I cut out. And then I want to show you what I did with um, stamping on this centerpiece as well. So I just kind of measured this and went a little bit larger so it was three and a half by four and three quarter. So I cut three and a half and then four and three quarter. And that's what I did. Then I got some of my purple tape. I got some of the mint tape coming. I want to try it. Scissors. And what I did so that I could do multiple at a time and not have to worry about the dies shifting, I'll show you in a sec here. Okay. I took this die first, lined it up on here. I just eyeballed it. I'm not going for for perfect. So and I just did that and that. Then I put this die in the center and kind of eyeballed it and got it kind of 
straight so that the gap all the way around if uh, anyone else out there has a better solution than this let me know but this kind of worked out so then I went back and I went all the way around move this oops it took my took my paper off I didn't like that that's why I need that mint tape because this tape is it, this is painters tape it's it's really good but it's sticky and then I put it like that so I caught the inner and the outer frame hopefully I can get this one off without wrecking my mat that I have here probably could use a bigger piece but all right so that's all I did and I just want assembly line and I left the tape on and pulled the back off and how I cut this out I guess I could bring my uh, die cut uh, big shot over And I'm using the, the setup is the precision base plate is what I used. These are, the spell binders are pretty tough dies. Uh, let's see. And I always like to put my dies at an angle. I can't remember who I watched online do that, but I did get that tip from somebody. It was probably, um... Jennifer McGuire, I'm pretty sure. She has some really good tips on die cutting and all, all kinds of things. All right, so let me run this through. And I basically ran it through twice. I went this way and then came back because it is a very intricate die. So there's a lot of pieces, parts. And I'm going to grab my... my tray that I made. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I just changed the paper on it. Um, this is just a tray I got at, um, don't think I got it at the dollar store. I'm pretty sure I got it at uh, Walmart when they had stuff on clearance. I always look in the clearance. And then this paper is press and seal. And Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Jennifer McGuire's husband um, invented this paper, the press and seal. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I may be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I heard her say. And she shows you how to use it with die cutting as well. But um, I just flipped it up so that the sticky side is, is, is up. And I put double stick tape around first, then laid my paper out sticky side up. That way it catches all the little bits. Because when you get um, dies like this that have tiny little pieces, they tend to fly all over the place. So then all I did, this is how I got the frame. I mean, you can... I could make the frame bigger. It, it doesn't have to be that size, but you can you can make it bigger. And then I pull this off. Obviously, the tape is gonna hold some of those bits in there, but that's okay. And then take my little tool. Uh, this comes in a set. Uh, Sizzix. You get. I think you get a pokey tool. You get. You get this. I'm not sure. I may be wrong. I threw away my packaging just recently. I didn't really need to keep it. So just run over it. And if you go on this mat and kind of just slide it off like that, once you move it from the back side, it kind of brushes it off. And 
And this is why I like the, the tray, because it just contains everything. And there you have it. It's beautiful. All right, so that's that. So I got the frame as well. And then these little bits just come out too. I'll just take this off. Well, I'm going to leave it on. So I think I'm going to cut a piece of... I'll show you what it looks like. I haven't done it on um, scrapbook paper or Christmas paper or anything, and I do have a piece next to me. So um, now see there's still bits in there from the... This was brand new. I pick these up at the dollar store when I get a chance. I'll just move that off. It just sometimes it's just helpful to have something a little bit smaller to get in there. And I can just hang on to it. And go across. So these intricate dies can be, some of them can, can be a little bit of work, but it's so worth it what you get. Okay, I'll just move that back. And I'll just keep this on if I'm going to just do a bunch of them. Just move that over just so it stays. Um, one more. Stubborn. Alright. Move this back. I think I got one stuck on the paper there. There we go. Alright, it's ready. Let me move this aside without having an avalanche. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I got this scrap piece of um, Christmas paper, and it does have lines on it, so I'm going to have to be mindful of that to line it up somewhere. But I just wanted you to be able to see with a bigger piece of paper, you can get another frame. Um, like a bigger frame. Alright. I haven't tried it with the printed paper, so I'm anxious to see what it's going to look like. I might not have got that totally straight, but Like that gives you a bigger frame. See? You can use this for something. And then you have this. Well, that's cute. I was hoping I got it straight, and it looks like I come close. Hard to see with the print, but I think I got it. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. And you could put like turn this into a pocket. It can be oriented this way. Um, let me get rid of this. It could be a pocket. Um, or this way here, you could put a photo on here, um, use this other die here, because this goes in the center, cut something out, and glue it in the center as well. So that's pretty good. I like that. I, this is very versatile. I haven't really um, hit the jackpot on this die yet. So 
Oh, let's see. This, I showed you the green, and then this is the brown craft, and then this is uh, cream uh, cardstock. That's the cream. Uh, let me turn my light off and see if that helps. That's better. Not perfect. I'm having a. No, I don't like that either. Sorry. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's the cream. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Um, you can also. Oops. Stamp. Straighten it up. I just took one of my flower stamps and stamped the, the center. I'm thinking about doing a collection of these. So I have to go through my stamps and see what fits and, and what I want to put on there. So I like that. I like that a lot. Then I have these that I got um, last time I was at Joann's. They had them 50% off. Um, they were like on a page and you just cut them out different sayings they always have um, stuff but I always look for if they're on clearance I don't know how many are on a page maybe this I think they're eight and a half by eleven no nope. it might be four four to a page would that make sense I'm not really sure now. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I already have them cut out and I just have them in a bucket here because I knew I wanted to do something with it. I just recently had an Etsy order and I, what did I do? I think I added fabric or something to the back of this, glued it on fabric and put it in on the front of their goodie bag. But, what I wanted to do is use this die so I, I'm going to turn my light back on if I can, there we go um, I wanted to use this die but when I put it up to it I could tell right off the bat it wasn't going to be big enough so I was like well I'm going to have to glue it on something so what I did was I glued it to just cream cardstock and you can do any color probably match whatever's in the actual card then I cut it out and it kind of it's this card is definitely smaller um, than the die but it once I cut it out it just kind of blended in I, I trimmed it down made sure like all these pieces were off I, I just did a rough cut but yeah I really like that I like how that came out and you could um, stamp lines on here turn this into a pocket all kinds of things can be done with this. Make it a journaling card or, you know, um, maybe add another one to the back, too. That would be cute. Or, um, you know, die cut something out, like, you know, lines or something, because this does fit in there. You could cut something out that has lines on it instead of stamping on it and glue that on turn it into a card or let me grab something my scraps of vellum or could put vellum behind it that would be cool. Uh, let's see. 
if you did vellum behind it and then like a colored paper or whatever behind that, you'd be able to see it. You could even like sew it like a pocket. Now see, I'm not comfortable with gluing vellum. I'm nervous that it's not going to stay, so I would probably sew around here and, and turn it into a nice little pocket, you know, or could make this into like a library card pocket, you know, like that and just, um, glue that there and then make your library pocket up here. Just cut it out, which would be cool. So, all right, that's that. I just wanted to show a new item that I have listed in the shop and uh, ways that you could use it. Um, did I do the measurement? No. Okay, the detailed get rid of these. This detailed one is um, four and three eighths by three and an eighth. So four and three eighths this way, three and an eighth this way. Then the open frame, how I have it cut, um, is four and three quarter by three and a half. So this you could do mix and match. That would fit in. This would fit in there. That's cute for like a frame. Um, these came out of this um, die cutting, so I figured I would include them in because you could use this frame for like that would be really pretty see glued down like that that would look good too and it could be turned into a tag or a pocket or a card or or anything so i do i do like these frames and you get four you get four of the detailed and and four frames and I have a wide selection of cardstock colors that you can choose from. I also have, um, I think it's called personalization. I don't use it much because people get confused by it. Um, I did click it on this time to see if it works. But what it is, is um, like say you get four. How I have it listed you can only select like one color I wish Etsy would change that so you could have more selections but for the personalization I have it on there so that you can personalize like say you get four of each like say you want one green one brown one cream and one white you would type it in that personalization note that way I know what you want or you could message me either way I don't mind I have a lot of people that uh, order items and they're like well I kind of want to mix it up like my um, ribbon holders uh, they want like they come in like a pack of the one of them the large comes in a pack of 25 and they want all different colors which is fine just tell me what you want and I'll make it as long as I know what you want I can I can customize that way so anyways that's that I wanted to get that listed and it is already listed in my shop and uh, I just wanted to do a video on it so you could see how how it's used but, uh, okay, that's it for now. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.